So I saw three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, and it was fantastic! Now I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for me to review this film since I did see it at Toronto Film Festival. It was the last one I saw before heading back to Vancouver, and once I got back, I wanted to focus all of my time on part two of Amusement so I could get it out in September like I promised. But now that's out and Vancouver Film Festival has just started, so stay tuned for a bunch more quickies over the next couple weeks. Anyway, this is the third feature film from acclaimed director Martin McDonough, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, with his previous films being in Bruges and Seven Psychopaths, and although I really loved In Bruges, this film is easily his best one. Every single one of the characters is written perfectly and are developed in ways you would never expect. Each character has so much depth and nothing's really presented in a black and white way. It's been a long time since I've genuinely cared about characters so much, and there are plenty in the film that I definitely did not expect to be caring about at all. Even the way the film set up leads you into believing that you have a firm grasp on how things are going to play out, but you seriously have no idea, and it's an absolute joy to watch. It's no surprise the film won Best Screenplay at Venice Film Festival, and I predict the same thing will happen at the Oscars next year, along with at least a few other nominations. Not only was the writing spectacular, but the directing was pretty fantastic as well. There was an incredibly satisfying single-shot action sequence that I really loved. Francis McDormand was absolutely perfect. John Hawks, Peter Dinklage, and Sam Rockwell were all amazing. Woody Harrelson was great. And and once again, Lucas Hedges fucking sucked. Apparently nobody found anything wrong with his performance in Manchester by the Sea though, so this should apparently only affect me and nobody else, I guess. Thankfully, he wasn't an extremely important character and didn't have a whole lot of screen time, because otherwise this might have affected my rating of the film. I was genuinely embarrassed watching him act in this film, especially when every single other actor has a stellar performance. Thankfully, if I I try really, really hard, I can imagine his character as a normal human being who just so happens to act like a terrible actor whenever he's trying to normally express himself. I guess there has to be somebody like that on the planet somewhere, maybe? I'm sorry, but it was genuinely difficult to believe a single word he was saying. I vividly remember cringing when he pretended to get mad and slammed the door. Anyway, like I said, he's not an important enough of a character for it to influence my overall rating, and if you saw absolutely nothing wrong with his performance in Manchester by the Sea, then you'll probably think he did a fantastic job anyway. Seriously though, that's really the only thing I could complain about in this film, and the rest of it is so exceptional that I cannot wait to see it again. I swear, when this movie comes out in November, there'll be a bunch of Reddit threads of people saying this is one of their favorite movies in a long time. It'll work its way onto the top 250 on IMDb, and in years from now, people will consider this as a classic. Martin McDonough has absolutely outdone himself in every way, and I'm really excited to be able to share this film with more people. If you want details about the plot, feel free to watch the film's trailer. I don't think it spoils too much, but if you find your taste aligns with mine anyway, then you might as well go in with a blank slate. This is so far the best film of 2017, and I strongly suggest you check it out on November 10th. And I'm giving this one a 10 out of 10.